Currently, the government institution, which is called Conredi Guatemala, has a really strong problem to communicate on different areas that are affected by disasters. Also in these areas are more people that are vulnerable, children, women, and adolescents. The current system that Conred uses is a really slow system, which depends on connectivity to the internet connection and to the telephone mobile network. The drone bots technology is looking to implement a technology that does not rely on the internet technology, but it provides its own connectivity. This is useful to transmit information on a faster way that makes the government authorities take quicker decisions and to promote a quicker recovery from impacts of disasters. Es importante que las coordinadoras locales de reducción de riesgos a desastres puedan tener esta información que es amigable y que puedan ellos utilizarla para que ellos como comunidad y conocen su localidad puedan eh, darnos la información a nosotros como coordinadora nacional. We created a device uh, that's very simple to use uh, with just a few buttons. Um, and we made it able to transmit uh, five important variables that were chosen for their high importance, which were uh, people affected, people sheltered, people evacuated, the amount of homes damaged, and also the amount of schools damaged. All this is reduced into a device that has a transmitter, and then we also have a receiver that uses LoRa technology, which is ideal for low power and long range situations, and also great for scenarios where um, internet connectivity is not available. And so the transmission hardware is designed to be heavy duty. It also includes a solar panel to be chargeable in um, conditions where there's no electricity. Uh, and it has a GNSS receiver to get its location um, wherever it is. And additionally, it has a, um, a connection to an Android app from which you can uh, enter the information that you're gonna send via LoRa. Since the beginning of the project, we have worked hand in hand with Conred to identify the bottlenecks of the problem and aim to strengthen the capacity of the institution and the community, providing a better response to an emergency. 